Alabama's legislative session is officially over as several bills are on Governor Kay Ivey's desk. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple recaps what passed and failed. Much of this session was overshadowed by a nearly $3 billion budget surplus, giving way to what lawmakers called historic tax relief. They passed a grocery tax reduction, bringing down the state's 4% food tax to 2% over time. This is an issue that was really driven at the grassroots level. This is what our constituents wanted. They also exempted overtime hours from state income taxes, letting hourly workers keep more of their pay. This proposal rewards hard work. It's not the only relief. 2021 Alabama tax filers will see a $150 rebate this November. Lawmakers also tackled fentanyl, creating mandatory minimums based on the amount of drug possessed. The legislature was behind the times with the drug use that was going on now. We just caught up to date with the dealers and what they're using. While that bill received unanimous support, a bill changing the state's correctional incentive time passed on party lines. It makes it take longer for inmates accused of misconduct to earn good time. Republicans pushed it as a public safety measure. It is time that Alabama's good time laws are strengthened and that bad people stay behind bars. But Democrats warn it will worsen prison overcrowding. Can you imagine a facility overcrowded, no resources, no rehabilitation, Everything you've done is ignored by the parole board and you have no hope. Many of the more controversial bills, though, failed. That includes the What is a Woman Act, putting definitions of male and female in state law, as well as a ban on drag shows where minors are present. Lawmakers also killed a school choice measure, dubbed the Price Act, that would have created education savings accounts for parents. But many of the bills that died this year might not be gone for good. I think they will very much be topics that we'll be once again standing here talking about in the coming months and in the next session. Now another bill that did not pass would have required students to attend kindergarten. That was something the governor called for in her state of the state address. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.